What is going on guys, it is Ahmed and I am back today with yet another video for you all and today we're going to talk about all the cryptocurrency market in specific I want to talk about Shiba Inu and SafeMoon guys this crypto market has been bleeding significantly there's so much fear uncertainty and doubt that has been you know um, roaming around the entire crypto market and we're just seeing billions and billions and billions of dollars being stripped right out of the um, cryptocurrency market almost one trillion dollars from its all-time high um, as an entire market has been stripped out of the um, cryptocurrencies and that is because so much FUD you know people are in fears that China has banned cryptocurrency which is actually not necessarily true and I'm going to talk about an article that was just recently published explaining that it's not that they banned it but they are just not allowing certain institutions to um, you know, trade, settle, etc. So I will talk about that real quick, but I want to talk about the price action, right? For Shiba Inu and SafeMoon specifically, because I know these two were hit almost the hardest from all the cryptocurrencies that we have been recently invested in. So if we look at the one-day chart here, you guys can just see since pretty much, pretty much all day yesterday, for Shiba Inu here, uh, Shiba Inu coin, we just see significant just consolidation, which I was pretty excited about when I made my video yesterday. Then around 8.30, 9 p.m. here, um, Central Standard Time in the U.S., we just see this thing take off. Uh, when I say take off, I mean, you know, in the downwards trajectory. Significant pullback, and it's pretty much bottomed out maybe this morning. We don't know yet. And that's the power of dollar cost averaging in. So that's why I want to talk about why I'm still excited about these companies, why I'm still excited about these certain cryptocurrencies, and I think they're going to do well long term. Same for SafeMoon. If we look at the... Just the one day here excuse me same exact thing we see consolidation drop off consolidation drop off so have we reached the bottom that is the question you all want answers to and in my opinion not necessarily it is possible that we did but not necessarily so before i go on and talk about the entire crypto market conditions and kind of what i'm watching what i'm looking to buy on the dip right that's the best that's usually what i do when i see that the overall market's down almost 18 percent I buy the dip. That is my personal philosophy. You don't have to follow that because I can't tell you whether to buy or sell cryptocurrencies or anything, even stocks. But I can at least get you guys on the place that I'm in because I'm not a financial advisor, nor do I give these videos for financial advice. Now, before I go into talking about the cryptocurrency market conditions, how I'm dollar cost averaging in and buying more as these things dip, I want to talk about my two affiliate links below. So shout out to BlockFi and Webull. They allowed me to become a partner of theirs. And you get up to $250 worth of free Bitcoin when you click the link below for BlockFi. So right now might be the best time to actually sign up for something like this because you're getting everything at a discount. So if you get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin, you know, if Bitcoin rebounds and goes back to its all-time high and surpasses that, and in my opinion, I think it's very much possible, then you're going to be making a great return on investment just for depositing money into your BlockFi account. Um, again, you might even be able to double up on your... Um, current um, deposit amount and also with Webull get your two free stocks when you deposit hundred dollars Maybe I make my screen a little smaller so you guys see the offer very well so open a Webull brokerage account through the end of the month and you get a free stock between two dollars and fifty cents and two hundred and fifty dollars then make an initial deposit of a hundred dollars and then you'll receive a free stock between eight dollars and sixteen hundred dollars so from me to you from Webull to all of us I get a free stock when you deposit money and you get a free up to two free stocks valued up to eighteen hundred and fifty dollars and i've had people tell me hey i've gotten shares of facebook shares of um different things ibm etc so hopefully you could be one of those lucky few that does get the upper hand of this bracket but at least you get some free money just for depositing a hundred dollars and opening an account so check it out you can start trading cryptos on it and stocks so yeah let's get back into the video so the overall cryptocurrency market let me just zoom in a little bit here Look at Bitcoin. For the first time in 14 weeks, it fell under $40,000. So what does that make me think? So personally, I think that this was a long overdue correction. Not a cryptocurrency market crash, but a correction that was well needed. Get the paper hands out. Get the strong people who have been very interested but thought it was overbought in. And, you know, let us ride the wave thereafter. So in my opinion, right, I always talk about dollar cost averaging in. Some of these plays should always be part of your portfolio if you're someone that's interested in the cryptocurrency market. Do not put all your money into Shiba Inu. Do not put all your money into SafeMoon. 
rather diversify your portfolio with some of these very long, um, historically um, backed, right, institutionally backed cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin being held by ARK Invest um, and some other the S&P 500 companies, including Tesla, Ethereum being massively adopted across here in the United States and the entire world. The Ethereum blockchain is one of the strongest. BNB coin, right? Look at the top 10 cryptos and think about, hey, some of these have true utility and I'm really interested in them. They're less speculative. Although, guess what? The overall cryptocurrency market is a speculative play. But also for Shiba Inu and SafeMoon, look at these numbers. We, we never imagined that we'd see these kind of discounts for these plays. So currently sitting at 10 Satoshi units when it um, was up to, if we look at just the month chart, Shiba Inu at some point was at 35 Satoshi units. So it's you pretty much have a potential to 3.5x your money if it goes back to its all-time high and surpasses that. So things like Shiba Swap are on the way for Shiba Inu. And some other great, fantastic catalysts are on the way for the speculative play. And SafeMoon, right? One of the other hype, more hype plays, more, you know, again, started as a meme, but now also looking at they're creating an exchange. So utility definitely on the way there. But look at this. It got up to... Um, you know, almost 14 Satoshi units and look where it's at now. That's less than half of what, it, what where its all time high was. So a lot of the paper hands are leaving, folks. And for all of us that are not willing to panic, rather pounce, right? Panic selling is happening. So much fear, uncertainty and doubt. But if you're someone that is excited about the crypto market and you truly, truly deep down in your heart, believe in it long term, then this is an opportunity that we might not be able to see in the future. So remember the rules of <coughs> dollar cost averaging in. So I'm gonna use the Shiba Inu um, chart to kind of show you guys what I mean when I say dollar cost averaging. So yesterday when I made my video, I said, if you wanna just get some skin in the game, if you have $300, you set your strike prices or strike days. So when the market's pulling back this heavily, I'd rather say let's use strike days instead of strike prices because we don't know where it's gonna bottom out. So yesterday I said, guess what? If you have $300, you want to get some skin in the game, interested in Shiba Inu's, uh, Shiba Inu as a company? We're going to put our first $100 yesterday, right, when we first talked about it. And guess what? Today it pulled back even more, down about 40% in the last 24 hours. Guess what? We could put in another $100 if you're someone that believes in it long term. Because again, if you don't believe in these companies, you will not buy the dip. Rather, you'll sell the dip. And guess what? You'll lose money and then you'll be very upset with yourself when it rebounds, if it does rebound. Because again, there's no guarantee. But in my opinion, if this thing once upon a time reached a high and now there's only new catalysts that are incoming, I think it still has its potential. So that's number two. And then strike price number three is a strike day, right? So maybe looking at it from today, putting in $100 and then tomorrow, if it pulls back again, another $100. And guess what? If it rebounds a little bit, you could still put your $100 because that is your strike day. Unless you want to make it end of the week, whenever. So pick your strike days. For me, today's a fantastic day to go shopping in the cryptocurrency market. Safe Moon, Shiba Inu, very attractive pricing. Overall, I'm looking at maybe buying some Ethereum. Right at $4,400, I really wanted some Ether, right? Some Ethereum. But it got up. Look at this. Let me just look at the price action quick. Guys, this is, this is like a dream come true in my opinion for me. Not for everybody, right? 4.3, 4.4 thousand. Pulled back significantly since almost half, right? Almost 50% drop, 23, 25%. And this is the biggest pullback we have seen in the crypto market since, you know, the, the major crash that happened way back when. So if we look at the, let's see here, if we look at the all time chart, you could see, doo -doo -doo, we could see how, oh, here we go, how Bitcoin, how Bitcoin looked. So just look at, look how history repeats itself. So we see back in 2017, we surged all the way up to 17. It was actually 19,000, pulled back significantly and never necessarily recovered because that was the, that was the biggest um, pullback we've seen. But even September to October, pretty big, big pullback. But then we recovered and hit that 19,000. So this is actually our first significant pullback we've seen since April 14th. Right, so on April 14th through May 5th, we saw the first pullback and then another very huge sell off the last day. So, why do I think that altcoin season is here also? So, for Bitcoin, right down about 17%, I think this is a time when people are realizing hey, Bitcoin is a, it has very slow transactions. Yes it's, the, yes, it's the leader, it's the initial number one cryptocurrency, and it probably always is in terms of its name. But in my opinion, I think that Bitcoin has more room to go down and altcoins to go up and people right now unfortunately the cryptocurrency market follows bitcoin very closely
but hopefully we're going to break that trend as people understand and learn more about these altcoins and how they have so much more potential like ethereum so much faster with transaction speed and fees compared to bitcoin hbar has much faster and cheaper transaction fees relative to these two right so i think altcoins are ready to take off and right now might be the best time to diversify your portfolio and turn if you haven't because i don't think we're going to see another pullback like this but guess what that's what we're going to dollar cost average in so to my shiba inu army the ship army the safe moon army guys for especially for those of us who are diamond hands look at always look at your risk tolerance and never put money that you're not willing to lose into the cryptocurrency market or any market because on days like these when the market bleeds instead of selling you're gonna pounce because guess what you're putting money after you took care of your family took care of all of your your daily needs at home then you're putting excess money that you do not necessarily need that you're you're willing to lose but willing to make some significant gains on that's where these come to play so again i appreciate all of you for tuning in early morning video here before i actually go to work so give the video a like if you haven't subscribe to the channel i appreciate all your guys' support and until next time everybody keep investing